Right, hello everyone, it's Dave M0 OGY bringing you a, a new antenna review. It's a bit of an exclusive, it's the only one in existence at the moment. It's uh, made by Steve at Vortex Antenna Systems in the United Kingdom. Steve's uh, been making antennas for a number of years now. The quality of antennas he's building are uh, on par with uh, OptiBeam, which uh, is no mean feat. Steve's a geezer at G0 many years and also one of the first Gruppo Italia Alpha Tango members in the UK, long term standing uh, AT member. Uh, that's how I sort of uh, got to know him really. Um, and I had a good chat with him at uh, the Newark ham fest last year and like what I saw he builds a lot of um, high-end quality delta loop antennas and yagis so this is a bit of a new venture for him um, it's the new vortex slim jim for 11 meters now slim jims have been about certainly since the 80s in various guises for uh, mainly two meters on the hand bands. Uh, it's a folded dipole design, the 11 meter one. It is around 21 feet long. It's got a, one radiator and a stub and then it links with flex weave which uh, we're just looking at at the moment that there's a flex weave. It has got a joiner in it as this is a uh, a pre-production version, a test version um, and it has been used also on uh, 10 meters hand bands uh, thus being what 6, 16 inch roughly shorter and minus that little bit in there so it's been linked back in just for test so it's our bolts together with uh, it's all stainless steel fixings and fasteners uh, stainless steel uh, hose clamps quality it all slots together and then it, you nip them up with that stealth clamps are used throughout be it uh, poly or also steel where needed these are high-end uh, items and in fact uh, as I mentioned the OptiBeam they use the same things as well on their antennas right walking around it that's the uh, joiner at the top of the antenna and then you've got your flex weave what goes down to the uh, through uh, loops there down to the uh, matching stub which is further down the antenna there it links to a fiberglass rod so that's a folded dipole design right comes with superb instructions Uh, about a five page manual got photographs and everything showing you how to build it so uh, very straightforward there's your staff clamps uses a 75 ohm matching device that links onto the radiators around seven foot of cable into a PL259 UHF uh, plug so then you just run a cable into your shack 50 ohms there's your mounts 2 inch stealth clamps rock solid stainless steel uh, cap screws and uh, all nylock stainless steel nuts and washers so that's how you mount it to your mast there's two of those put your mast in between them and then cable tie 75 ohm feeder down the centre of the uh, two inch uh, mass pole. Further on in the video, I will be doing some uh, tests with the MFJ analyzer when I get it up in uh, free space. Some of you may have seen uh, this antenna uh, before me posting this uh, review video as uh, 
I've done a first look of it, hopefully what will be published in Radio User. But uh, it is a uh, pre-production uh, antenna. It's the uh, first and only one at the moment in existence. One thing is, it's got more, slightly more gear than a dipole, but it's got a very uh, low angle uh, uh, irradiation. It's uh, low to the ground, unlike a 5 8 wave. So I'll be back in a moment. Right, um, as it's based on a dipole, a normal half wave dipole. Uh, has a gain of around 2.15 dBi uh, but the radiation angle on one of those is around 26 degrees the Slim Jim's angle is half that in fact less than half that at 12 degrees but this is however in free space uh, and uh, <clears throat> the angles can get even lower the higher the antenna is mounted above the ground uh, even the 5 8 vertical has a radiation angle of around 19 degrees. So, basically this antenna, maybe not having massive amounts of gain as some other vertical antennas have, it does have a, a low angle of radiation, so it could uh, prove to be a very, very good DX antenna. So, anyway, we'll come back a bit further on, do some tests, um, get it up in the sky, see how we get on and uh, maybe make a part two video we'll see how we get on and uh, we might tag a few together so thanks for watching the video from uh, finally we've got some nice uh, weather in the UK sunshine there you go. big tower above me <laughs> So, on that note, thanks for watching the video, and best 7.3s from Dave, M0, OGY, catch you soon. You just get that, it's like they're making all the noise. Right, just showing you uh, the other item that came with the antenna, uh, the Vortex um, RF choke. Some people call these an ugly ballon. In fact, quite a few make these for other vertical antennas on the market. Uh, and it, it basically stops uh, common mode RF current traveling back down the uh, feeder cable into the shack, causing issues, also causing issues with the uh, other people with uh, TVI and uh, you know any form of interference so this is the uh, Vortex item it's uh, using uh, Westflex 103 coaxial cable with the uh, PL259s on each end what we will do We'll put that on the uh, mast underneath the 75 ohm feeder. Plug that into that and then uh, we'll have a 50 ohm good quality feeder from that into the, an uh, into the radio. So we should be uh, okay. So next thing we're about to do, we're going to uh, use some self amalgamating tape and uh, wrap all the joints to weatherproof them and make them nice and uh, tight and strong I am using a self amalgamating tape what I'm purchasing from Screwfix in the local town they they are selling these this, this, this stuff at around uh, three and a half quid a, a reel which is uh, 